Hi guys, my name is Minhajuddin Alsari and you're watching another tutorial on the C programming language and today I will be talking about Stack Overflow. So, I mean the stack portion in your main memory has a specific size. In most computers, its size is equal to 1 megabyte. Similarly, the heap portion in your main memory also has a size and it is equal to a few gigabytes. And that depends on your computer system. Similarly, all other portions in your main memory, they also have their own sizes. So your program, your program is allocated inside the stack portion of your main memory. So if your program is very large, so what will happen is that it will exceed the size of the stack. It will exceed one megabyte and then stack overflow will occur. So when the size of the stack is exceeded by the program, then stack overflow occurs and then simply your program crashes. So let me give you an example of where stack overflow might occur. So stack overflow can occur when you have written a recursive function but you haven't written a proper base case. So right here I've written my foo function which is recursive because it calls itself but there is no base case to terminate the recursion. That means it will infinitely call itself and this will just allocate unnecessary space inside the stack until the space of the stack is exceeded by the function calls. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, I'm going to allocate space for my main function and I'm going to draw my main functions frame and the main function will call the foo function. So I'm going to allocate space for the foo function and inside the foo function, the integer variable a is defined. So memory will be allocated for the integer variable a. So now the foo function is calling itself again. So again, a memory will be allocated inside the stack for another foo function and memory will be allocated for the integer variable a associated with that foo function. And now that foo function will again call itself because this is recursion. So now uh, space will be allocated for the third foo function call and again integer variable a space will be allocated for the integer variable a and now this foo function will again call itself so as you can see the foo function is infinitely calling itself and space is being allocated on the stack for each foo function and for each variable associated with that foo function so ultimately one time will occur when the size of the stack is exceeded by the allocations of these functions and as soon as the size of the stack is exceeded stack overflow will occur and your program will crash that is why it is best to properly define a base case so that your stack does not overflow and just for fun i want you to write a code I want you to write a recursive function that does not have a proper base case and I want you to run the program and see how stack overflow occurs. So just check that out. And now one more thing before I end this tutorial, you might be wondering why is, why is dynamic memory allocated inside the heap? Why isn't it allocated inside the stack? This is because this is because when the user enters the size of the dynamic array at the runtime. When the user enters the size of the dynamic array at the runtime, the user might enter a very large size. For example, the user might want to create an integer array of size 1 million or 10 million. So a dynamic integer array that contains 10 million integer elements. So now when the user enters that large size, so when that array is created, if that array was to be created inside the stack memory portion, so that will automatically exceed the size of the stack and that would cause stack overflow and your program would crash. So just for safety, the dynamic memory is allocated inside the heap. And since your heap is very large, so it can handle very large sizes of dynamic arrays. So if you, for example, if you define a dynamic array of size 10 million, so it can store 10 million integers, then space can be easily allocated inside the heap to accommodate that dynamic array because the heap is very large. So this is why dynamic memory allocation takes place in the heap and not in the stack. So this is all it about stacks and heaps. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section. And thanks for watching this video.